people stare. Are we really so different and not like you that you have to stare? As a fashion photographer, I should be at the height, but it was all done for me. You know, her hair, her makeup. I'm looking at the camera and I'm thinking, I don't even have to be here. This is not what I want to be doing. I had never thought of the power of a photograph as in the impact it would have in someone's life. We are not ghost-like, we are just human beings. I think it's the high time we break some of these taboos. I ran the medical textbooks and it was all the same type of image. As a medical student, I saw those pictures. Those pictures look as if they're people that don't have anything to say. But I can assure you that no one has ever walked into a doctor's office looking like this. With no. like carrying a portable black bar. Train those physicians to see beyond the disease. Nothing standard will ever be beautiful. Almost boring and uninteresting. Nobody jumped on board. People were still looking at this as an art form. You didn't understand that this was a human movement. You're gonna die when you see this. <laughs> Often when I'm photographing someone with a, a difference, somebody will come and see the photographs and say, and you're really capturing their inner beauty. And I'm like, fuck inner beauty. These kids are gorgeous. And I'm gonna be okay. You would probably bore me anyway. You ain't gotta love me. And I'm gonna be all right. You ain't gotta be my friend and I. You ain't gotta love me. And I'm gonna be okay. You would probably bore me anyway. You ain't gotta love me. And I'm gonna be all right. You ain't gotta be my friend and I. You ain't gotta love me. And I'm gonna be okay. You would probably bore me.